This episode is brought to you by the Cumming Forsyth County Chamber of Commerce and the Forsyth County Schools. Hey everybody, welcome to 400 Studio. I'm your host Kelly Whitmire. We're here today with Nathan Butterfield and Butterfield Wood to learn how to take this slab of wood and turn it into a piece of art. Let's check it out. All right, Nathan, so we've taken this from a chunk of wood to this point. Uh, can you kind of tell us what's next? Yeah, so now we have to actually form the outside of the bowl and then the inside of the bowl. And uh, we're going to shape this here. And we're going to put a, a tenon on here that we can grab it so we can turn it around and hollow out the inside. We don't want anybody to lose, a, lose an eye or... Yeah, let's avoid that. The only thing you don't really want to do is stand right here on either side. So if you stand there uh, and anything falls off or breaks off, it's going to hit you. And it'll be moving really, really fast. Step back in. years so so my first thing really with wood was I built a, a, a cedar strip canoe mm -hmm. um, from scratch and, and that was really fun and uh, and and I've always wanted to do this do wood turning I've seen it before and I grew up you know doing things on a potter's wheel so it's very similar mm -hmm. to that except you're starting from something and, and going down uh, and, and shaping it out of that big piece whereas like pottery you're, you're starting with nothing and mm -hmm. creating something um, so I've always kind of been attracted to it and just just kind of clicked when I started doing it. It was um, it was kind of very fulfilling to me. Uh, the, the process is really fun. I like all the steps. Um, it's not just like just drawing. There's a very there's a kind of structure to it that you have to follow too. Um, and I like that kind of technical aspect to it. I don't really ever take down trees uh, to do wood turning with. Mm -hmm. I, I get all my trees from Craigslist or from friends and things like that, and just go up go over to their house and clean up their yard, take it out of there. Um, and so it's, you know, one, it's, it's free materials, uh, and two, it's just kind of turning, uh, turning something that would have been just wasted into something that's, you know, beautiful or functional. I know you've obviously made the bowls, you've made the canoe, what else do you work on? I, I mean, I've made, I made some furniture, I've made benches and beds and, and tons of picture frames throughout our house and mm -hmm. big old chicken coop and, you know, I, I've, my entire life I've always been making stuff. Um, it's just now it's more, now I'm actually kind of developing one, one skill and, and sticking with the bowls. It's, it's kind of, there's a lot of different things you can make in wood turning, but the bowls just kind of do it for me. I really like, um, I like their, their shape and I like the usability. Like a big thing to me is, uh, for, for, for wood products is the usability of it. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, you can, you can actually eat anything you want. Um, wet foods are not the best, but you can eat whatever you want out of a wooden bowl. It's not going to hurt it. Um, it's, uh, that's the thing that I really like is, is functionality. So I want to make something really beautiful, but I also want to make it so where you can actually use it. You don't just hang it on your wall. Mm -hmm. um, you can if you want to, and that's totally fine. <laughs> but I, I intend the things that I make to be used, and I use finishes that are completely food safe so that you can use them and you can trust them, and uh, they'll just last for generations. Thanks for joining us on this week's episode. For more information on Butterfield Bowls and how to get your hands on one of these, go to the website below. From all of us here at Forsyth County News, I'm Kelly Whitmire, and thanks for joining us on 400 Studio.